Aloha everybody, how's it going? Chris Jones back again with another WordPress tutorial. Today I want to talk about probably one of the most common errors you will see people asking for help online. And that is the white screen of death. That's something that when you go to refresh your site and go check out your site, you get a white screen. And you can't, maybe you can't log in and you get no errors and you have no idea what's going on and it's called the white screen of death. So. Today I'm going to teach you how to troubleshoot that and maybe at least find out what's causing the problem so that you could get some help and further uh, fixing what it is that's happening. So let's get down to it. If you look at my screen, it's white. I mean, it's black actually because I'm, I have a local development site going on. It's called examplesite.dev and basically it's hosted on my computer. So if this, was, if this error was happening online, it would come out completely white, hence the term white screen of death. So the reason why this happened is probably more than likely 90% of the chances are that you've updated your plugins or you've updated a theme. Okay. And so what happens if you update a theme and it's something's broken in it, it will give you the white screen of death. If you update plugins and something's broken in it, usually it just gives you a bunch of gibberish at the top of your website. And actually I'm going to create a second video right after this one on how to troubleshoot plugins. A lot of it's the same simple steps. So uh, check this out. So what we'd want to do is go into our FTP and most people have access to the FTP or their, their, their files through their host. Okay. So you have to have access to your file editor through your host or an FTP client like FileZilla. All right. I'm not going to be using FileZilla because my, uh, this website's hosted locally. So I have access to my files through a folder. Okay. But this is exactly something like what you would look, what you would look for. Okay. You have your, your website, you would go into your WordPress content folder and then from there you could find your plugins. Uh, you could find your plugins and then you could find your themes. All right. So let's just say for uh, simplicity's sake that we're running 2016 like I am on this one and I just updated it. Okay. And it's broken. It's given me this. So I know it might have something to do with my themes. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my file folder for this website. Look under content. And here's my themes, all right? So I have a 2016 in installed, and you'll actually see what I'm actually running is a 2016 child. So I'm pretty sure it has something to do with my 2016 theme. So what I'm gonna do is simply rename them. Now you could put anything you want to rename them. I like to use null, which means it's been stopped uh, by me. So it's pretty obvious, okay? And the importance of uh, renaming them and keeping it simple is that when you're done with this troubleshooting method, you have to put them back to their original name. So 2016 is one word. I need to rename it exactly like that. If I was troubleshooting 2015 and I renamed it 2015 null, I had to put it back exactly how you see here. So keep it simple, all right? So I've renamed my templates folders. And so now WordPress won't find them. Okay, the database says, hey, I've got 2016 activated. Go find it and run it. All right, so I've changed them to, to null. And now let's go back to our website and refresh it. And now I get the white screen of death. That, that's a step forward actually in my site. On um, If this was live, it might give me quite a bit different screen. It might give me some errors, okay? But, you know, something's changed and something's made a difference. And that means it is this theme that is causing the problems okay and so let's see let's go let's go ahead and go in and to our, our themes page and and refresh it and see how it looks okay so here's my 2016 null here's my 2016 child that's activated okay neither one of them is working all right so let's go back to our site and refresh it see if we get anything different and we do and what happens is wordpress has a built-in feature where it falls back on the the last template that you have the next fallback. So for instance, I'm running 2016, it's gonna look for 2015 afterwards, all right? If it can't find 2015, it's gonna look for 2014, so on and so forth. So this is actually pretty good. We've gotten somewhere. We went from a white screen of death to our content, our posts, our images, and everything is still there. So our customers can still read our blogs and they can still comment and reply, and we've made leaps and bounds. And so now, the simple part is is going back in and either replacing that theme that was broken with a fresh file or changing your theme. Changing your theme might not be so easy though because um, 
because obviously look at this is 20 this is 2015 and 2016 looks quite a bit of differences and what's not showing up is our changes and our custom changes that we've made to the 2016 theme so we really do want to get back to the 2016 theme okay and the easiest way to do that is to go into your backup files go into your theme files pull it out and simply replace 2016 with yours that is why it is so important to keep backups i can't stress that enough luckily the only thing that was damaged here was our theme files and not our database okay our database still has our content it still has our posts and it still has our images and everything that we need in there okay so with a little bit of magic i'm going to go over here and uh and fix my file that was broken okay and come over here and refresh it go back to our site and refresh that as well all right and so now that I that I've uh, done my troubleshooting, I'm gonna come back over here. I'm gonna rename these guys exactly the way they were, so that WordPress knows how to find it, and knows how to call it up. I've renamed my themes back to the way they were supposed to be. Okay, and I'll come in here and activate my child theme, and you'll see it is all back here's my child thing that has my logo it's got my custom colors in the background all my posts and all my content is back and we're up and running so you can see the troubleshoot now let's say i had just downloaded two or three themes and i'm trying them all out and something's happening and i don't quite know which one it is well pretty simply i would just go and rename them all to a new name add null to all of them all right and then I would go to one at a time and replace them to their original name and see which one it is that's crashing the site, okay? So I hope you like this video. I hope it helps you out. If you like it, like it. Don't forget to subscribe to catch the other ones and I will see you next time. Aloha.